This problem wants you to solve a quadratic equation using the square root property, and they want exact answers. And when they say exact answers, that means don't pick up your calculator and um, you know round off in a decimal. And I can already tell that because they've got this square root thingy here for you. Um, it says solve x squared equals 18, where x is a real number. Simplify your answer as much as possible. Okay, you're trying to solve for x. You wanted to say x equals some number. Right now it says x squared equals some number. So to get rid of the squared, I'm going to do the opposite of squaring, which is square rooting. And of course, what you do to one side of an equation, you gotta do to the other. When you square root a square, they cancel each other out. So boom, there's my x. However, this is a quadratic. Since there's an x squared on there, there should be two possible answers, which means in this case, it's either going to be the positive value or the negative value of whatever the square root of 18 is. Now, Normally, I grab my handy dandy calculator, but that would take me to decimal land and I'd have to round off. They did not ask for that. They said just simplify it as much as possible. If they had wanted a decimal, they would have said round off to the nearest something or other, and they didn't. So what they want me to do is simplify my radical. Now, 18 is not a perfect square. Um, it helps to know your perfect squares, and the perfect squares are whatever, one squared, two squared, three squared, four squared, five squared, six squared. I think you get the point squared. Keep going. The perfect squares are one, four, nine, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, those are the first 10. When you're simplifying a radical, you are looking for one of these numbers that is a factor of this one. Fortunately for us, 18's a small number, so I have to ask myself, um, of these perfect squares, which one's a factor of 18? Now, one is a factor of everybody, but the square root of one is still one, and it's not, it's not simplifying anything. So we usually just kind of like, eh, whatever, one. You know, we don't, we're not gonna use him. So I'm gonna look at the four. Is four a factor of 18? No, four doesn't go into 18. Is nine? Yes, it is. I have just found one of my factors that I need. Now, you can put the factors in either order, but I tend to put the perfect square one first. I'm gonna put the nine here, and then I need the other number that goes with it, and that number would be two, because nine times two is 18. You're literally breaking it down, it's like a little factor tree, but instead of using pr all prime numbers, you're using one number that's a perfect square, and then his you know, partner in crime over here. And now I can actually take the square root of nine. The square root of nine is three. And the square root symbol goes away. Unfortunately on this one over here, I can't take the square root of two. So the square root sign still stays, stays there and so does the two. Now for Alex, it says if there's more than one solution, separate them by commas. So. In this box, I'll have to type three. I'll have to hit this uh, this little tool in your toolbox here uh, and type in a two, then put comma, then negative three, hit that again, and the square root of two. And those are my answers.